Welcome to a brand new episode of Colombo Fashion Forecast, a show beyond fashion. Stick with us because we have been on some amazing adventures and our adventures are still not over yet. So enjoy today's episode. Dynasty Residence is an apartment complex boasting 18 stories of luxury residential apartments. Dynasty Residence includes single, double, triple and four bedroom apartments, duplex style, sky villas and penthouses with private sky gardens. What's going to happen here at Mount Lavinia Hotel in the evening is going to be an amazing performance, highly anticipated because we heard so much about it. It's for a great cause and I am here with the singer from Australia, Emmanuel Kelly. Emmanuel, tell, you, tell us a little bit about your background and um, why you're participating in a, an event like this. Uh, well, my background is, uh, I first of all like long walks on the beach. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> No, my background is obviously I was on the X Factor in Australia, um, and uh, I uh, my story is on there, and, and basically it goes that I'm originally from Iraq, and I was found in uh, um, in, a, in a box in a park and wow. taken to an orphanage, yeah. and then from there on um, I was uh, I was luckily and, and fortunately brought out by a beautiful woman named Moira Kelly to Australia, originally from for surgery. And then things sort of took off from there, and, and eventually, uh, it, when I turned 17 um, in Australia, I um, uh, well, supposedly turned 17 because we're not actually sure of how old I am as well. Um, I uh, I um, I entered the X Factor, and from there on, things uh, things sort of took off. I mean, it, it's been very surreal while I've been there uh, in the last two years um, or year and a half that I've been on X Factor and, and the, the time on the show is, is still very surreal. I think it was a very humbling experience. I met some incredible talent that were on the show and, and I was very fortunate so uh, to be a part of something so special and to able to inspire and, and, and motivate and empower teenagers and, and people around the world. So it's been, it's been a pretty intense journey. Wow, that's an amazing story. And do you have a message for the younger generations? I do. Uh, you know, one of the only reasons we get up every morning is because we have a, a thing called hope in our hearts and in our heads and, and rushing through our veins. And, um, you know, that's that's something that's important to keep, you know, even even in times when, when you think you're not going to be able to achieve something or you're not going to be able to do something, be hopeful that it'll happen. Uh, remember that we're all unique, we're all beautiful, special, um, and, and we need to remember that. You don't need to, wear, you know, One Direction say it perfectly, um, no need makeup. Uh, so, you know, they say it in their song, you don't need to be, you don't need to be, to wear makeup to be beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's those little things in, in, in your little qualities, the laughs, the, 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 you know your your exuberant nature or your reserved nature um it's those things that makes us beautiful and unique we're all different again and that's what makes us unique and special so it's important for teenagers to remember that and to believe in themselves to dream big you know and and to every time you're going to say something bad about someone and this is for everyone every time you're going to say something bad about someone imagine them saying it to you and how would you feel Absolutely. um so they're things that I would probably say to them, but most of all, I think if you believe in yourself, if you're able to realize you're beautiful and everyone else around you is also beautiful and unique and special, then I think the other things around that will just, will just work in sync um, and come together. That's great. And how long have you been singing for? I've been singing for probably now, um, oh, the, probably now so I've been in Australia for 13 years singing professionally the last two years and uh, singing singing for maybe 10 years now so I gave up singing when I was a bit younger and um, when I was a, like 11 you know all 11 year olds would get arrogant and cocky and, and I got pretty arrogant and cocky and thought I was the cutest kid on the block which I was pretty cute I must say um, but uh, but um, of course uh, I stopped singing for a while mum sort of popped that balloon told me I couldn't sing for a few years and, and it brought me back to earth and reminded me that I need to take it shouldn't take things for granted shouldn't take my family for granted um, and then of course as I got older I became handsome which then <laughs> mum had to pop my head again so <laughs> so uh, yeah no it's become it's become good and, and I'm really happy where I am and 
I want to take it much further and I do plan to take it much further next year and the year after so very good we wish you all the very best and thank you one last question how are you enjoying Sri Lanka paradise Sri Lanka paradise is beautiful the weather is killing me um, <laughs> I'm not liking the weather too much um, the girls so far I'm happy with Maybe I can find a Sri Lankan wife here. We'll see how we go. Oh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but and the kids are so cute. The they little are. kids are gorgeous. Everything about Sri Lanka is beautiful. I think um, I'm, I'm privileged to be here. Uh, of course, I'm here for the the to, to show that disability um, is possibility. And I've yes. been inspired by a young boy uh, named Stefan and and Malik's uh, and Malik Dean and and his wife Angie. So. Uh, they've definitely inspired me to be here, and and uh, and that's their gift to be to inspire people. We've all got gifts, so yes. uh, yeah, it's been good though while wow. I've been here. Well, you heard it from Emmanuel Kelly, and the gift of inspiration is a great thing, and that's what you're contributing towards in this beautiful uh, performance that's going to take place tonight. We're all looking forward to hearing your vocal Thank skills, you. and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. You may say I'm a dreamer. Dynasty residence includes single, double, triple and four bedroom apartments, duplex style, sky villas and penthouses with private sky gardens. The duplex sky villas have been designed to provide optimal privacy and comfort to its residents. Each bedroom offers shading from the rising sun in the east while offering the added benefit of storage. The duplexes consist of the master bedroom with ensuite bathroom other bedrooms, both dry and wet kitchens, each outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment. Dynasty Residence is truly an oasis of tranquility. Presented to Angelo Jasudo, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you don't mind clubbing. How was it? How was the run? Did you enjoy? Yeah, it was very really good. <laughs> right, so Divanka obviously with high chance of winning. Thank you very much, Divanka. Come on, guys, a big round of applause to Ayodhya Gajanayaka, fifth place, women's category. Come on, guys, and girls, a big round of applause. Come on. 
RFT on mugs and a teddy bear. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause in third place winner, women's category. You can do better than that. Let's say to Danielle, she is the third place winner of today's charity run, five kilometers long. Uh, Danielle, tell us your thoughts and um, how do, what does it feel to take part in such a charity uh, event? Uh, it was a great event, great atmosphere, and I really enjoyed it. Let's congratulate our first place winner of the female category for the five kilometer run for charity. Um, tell us your name and what does it feel like to get first place in this uh, beautiful charity run? Um, I'm Sanjika Silva and it feels great. It was a great run. I mean, it was hot, but um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's say hello to Praveen who got third place in the men's category. Praveen, um, what was it like, the run? Five kilometers long and it is for charity? Uh, it, actually, uh, running for a charity run like this is a, like, uh, it's a prestige in this country. We are, we are like... It's like we are caring for them and we are doing something for them. There are people who need help, so this is a good thing. So that's why I participated for this and I give my support. Second place winner of today's men's run. Tell us your name and what does it feel like to participate in this charity run? Yeah, sure. My name is Haren and it's the first time I'm running in Colombo because I live in Singapore. Just came in, registered myself, so it's awesome, awesome to see all the people here. And it's a great job. Great job to everybody. And now our first place winner of the men's category, I have Vissal with me. Vissal, tell us um, why you take part in this, uh, the run for their lives and it was a five kilometer Run, tell us um, why do you take part in it and what fulfillment do you get? The Royal College Warpool team, yeah, we together decided to run, so that's why I took part. Okay, well, I think we are wrapping it up today. It was a beautiful day here. Um, wonderful, 2,500 people taking part in Run for Their Lives, organized by the Rotaract Club, and it's such a such a beautiful event. All these people are gathered here, did a five kilometer run for charity. And this one also uh, participated in the run as well. His name is Simba, my son. And um, yeah, we're definitely gonna take part again in this next year. We are very happy to cover, cover this. We are here at Cinnamon Bay in Beirula. There's a very special function going on tonight. We have a fashion show with 33 of the finalists of the Miss France pageant for 2014. And we have a special guest who is actually Miss France, who is also the first runner-up of Miss World.